Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So I'm about to hit the road again with Bunny for about like two to three months, I think. And uh, it's time to do another pack with me video. I've got an updated minimalist capsule wardrobe for this trip, so let's dive right in. Since it's the winter time, I have to pack for cold weather type situations. I'm not quite saying exactly where we're headed yet, but that'll come later. So in total for this trip, I am packing seven shirts, three tank tops, two sweaters, two long sleeve button ups, and five pairs of pants. I'm also packing one set of pajamas, which is really just kind of like a pair of sweatpants and like a raggedy old shirt. For outerwear, I have decided on two jackets and two hats. One is a baseball cap and one is a beanie. And I'm also going to be bringing one scarf. During the trip, there's going to be nights that we feel like being fancy kind of and dressing up and going out. So I'm also packing two different dresses, I believe, which will be one is the black t-shirt dress that I wear all the time because it's so easy to pair down for something casual and it's also easy to like dress up with accessories to make it a little bit more formal looking. So there's the black t-shirt dress and then I'll also have one other nicer sort of kind of formal dress. Again, for a night that we feel like dressing up and going out and doing something nice, like a nice dinner or something. So basically everything I have in my collection, my wardrobe this time, it's part, it's a capsule wardrobe. Now I've done capsule wardrobe videos before in the past. If you haven't seen them, I'll link them up above somewhere. So go check those out. A capsule wardrobe is basically a minimalist approach to fashion that involves creating a collection of versatile essential clothing items that can be mix and match to create several many many different outfits so it kind of feels like you've got a new outfit every single time and with this combination i have i should be able to create at least a different outfit for every single day of a month at least i'm pretty sure in previous capsule wardrobes i've done i usually stick with like black that tends to be like a safe color for me you know black kind of looks good on everyone it doesn't show up like dirt or grime that much but I think um, for those of us who are a little bit more colorful in personalities, basically I just kind of got bored with black. I mean, I'm not fully getting rid of all black, like most of my pants are black and I do love a good basic black tank top or crop top. But this time around, I kind of really wanted to add a touch of color into my wardrobe. So that's exactly what I did. I didn't mean to do this when I got, when I built this wardrobe, this capsule wardrobe this time around, but it seems like I decided to stick with like typical fall colors. So there's a lot of like oranges and yellows and reds. Um, I think I've got one shirt that's like a dark burgundy or something. So my suggestion for anyone creating like a capsule wardrobe is always to sort of try to stick to a certain color palette, especially if you're not just sticking with this typical like blacks, grays, navies that people like to do. If you're gonna do color, that's fine. Just try to like, you know, stick somewhat within a certain palette so that it's easier to like mix and match them together, basically. But I mean, this is just what I do. This is just kind of how this particular capsule wardrobe worked out for me this time. It's not like the end all be all, this is the way you're supposed to do it. So really kind of like take my advice, don't take my advice, do whatever you want. <laughs> Okay, so normally I try to pack everything into the green duffel bag that I usually use, but uh, we're going to try to switch it up in an attempt to save space in my car. So I'm going to pack it into this bag once again. I have featured this bag in a few of my packing videos before, so I won't go too much into it, but this is one of those like clamshell opening backpacks that I got off Amazon for not that expensive, so let's see if everything fits into this thing. to lose 
daylight <laughs> because I start filming a little too late, but hopefully you guys can see me. Anyways, I realized that I almost forgot to pack my underwear. Could you imagine if I forgot that? Anyway, I'm not gonna show that obviously, but when it comes to packing underwear, I always say pack extra. You know, because with clothes, you can always just kind of rewear a shirt, rewear a pant, no one's gonna care. Just in case you can't find like washing machines or a laundromat um, for a while and you sort of need to stretch things out for a bit. Yeah, always pack extra underwear, that's what I say. Okay friends, I'm back. So let's get into the topic of toiletries. For toiletries, I usually just carry my travel toiletry bag that has all like the three ounce travel size bottles of like shampoo, conditioner, and soap and, ex and other items. Honestly, I don't really bring bigger bottles. Sometimes while I'm on the road, I'll, I guess it just kind of depends if I find a good deal or something that maybe I'll buy a bigger bottle. But um, I find that like the small travel size bottles actually last me a pretty long time. Um, and then since we have to stop in town for supplies so often, it doesn't really bother me to just continue getting travel size items. You know, with such a small space, it's just easier to try to keep things as small as possible. So that's kind of what works for me. Same with makeup. I really don't wear a lot of makeup anymore, especially since I do spend a lot of time outdoors. And for this road trip, we're gonna be doing a lot of outdoor activities. There will be some times that maybe we'll get dolled up and go like to a fancy thing, like I said earlier. But honestly, I just, all of my makeup really kind of just fits into a small pouch anyway. So I've also downsized a lot of my makeup items. Moving on to the electronics, I also wanted to keep these at a minimum as well. In the past, I have previously just brought a ridiculous number of tripods and camera equipment, and in the end, I really ended up not using too many of the items that I had. So all I'm bringing this time around is one big tripod, one handheld tripod, my main camera, which is the Canon EOS M50, a small GoPro action camera. This one is the GoPro Hero 9. One phone holder, I believe that's what it's called, because sometimes I film with my phone. And one shotgun mic. I used to use the bigger Rode mic, I believe, but I've since switched to this one. I found this on Amazon. It's smaller and it packs into this nice little hard case that's easy to carry everything. So I figured I'd give this a try. And all of my cables and hard drives and adapters and things like that all fit into this new travel cable organizer. This one's from TomTalk. I just bought this recently for Christmas as a, you know, Christmas present to myself. And so far I really like it. So I think like this should keep me better organized because everything is just like in this one thing. I used to have several different pouches carrying different kinds of like battery chargers and cables and it was just too much to try to remember like five different pouches. So I got this one pouch for everything to fit into. Oh, also, um, I'll be bringing my laptop too. I didn't show that. <laughs> so that's about most of the items, I believe. In my updated capsule minimalist wardrobe, I'm really excited. I, I forget if I said this, but I plan to be on the road for about two to three months. And while this might seem like a really small wardrobe, again, like this should be fine. We are going to be stopping at laundromats, so you can always do laundry on the road. There will be a part two to this video, and that one's gonna be more focused on like pa actually packing my car, um, showing you my new setup, and I also picked up a few new like van life essentials that I am eager to show you guys, but that will come in the next video. Also, just to keep everyone informed, there will be another hotel review video coming out as well before I actually hit the road to meet up with Bunny. But I hope this video has helped you guys and given you some tips on your capsule wardrobe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh yeah, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Okay, bye. <laughs>